SharePoint is a web application platform in the Microsoft Office Server Suite. Launched in 2001, SharePoint combines various functions which are traditionally separate applications, intranet, extranet, content management, document management, personal cloud, enterprise social networking, enterprise search, business intelligence, workflow management, web content management, and an enterprise application store. SharePoint servers have traditionally been deployed for internal use in mid-size businesses and large departments alongside Microsoft Exchange, Skype for Business, and Office Web Apps. But Microsoft's Office 365 Feet software as a service offering has led to increased usage of SharePoint in smaller organizations. While Office 365 provides SharePoint as a service, installing SharePoint on-premises typically requires multiple virtual machines, at least two separate physical servers, and is a somewhat significant installation and configuration effort. The software is based on an end-tier service-oriented architecture. Enterprise application software often either requires or integrates with elements of SharePoint. As an application platform, SharePoint provides central management, governance, and security controls. The SharePoint platform manages Internet information services via form-based management tooling. Since the release of SharePoint 2013, Microsoft's primary channel for distribution of SharePoint has been Office 365, where the product is continuously being upgraded. New versions are released every few years, and represent a supported snapshot of the cloud software. Microsoft currently has three tiers of pricing for SharePoint 2013, including a free version. SharePoint 2013 is also resold through a cloud model by many third-party vendors. The next on-premises release is SharePoint 2016, expected to have increased hybrid cloud integration. Applications, the most common uses of the SharePoint include equals Enterprise Content and Document Management equals SharePoint is often used to store, track, and manage electronic documents and assets. Integration with the Office Suite, Office apps on mobile devices, and Office web apps enable editing scenarios, while OneDrive for Business enable offline synchronization. It provides integrated version history tracking, collaborative live editing, and search capabilities. These capabilities are configurable to comply with record management or legal discovery requirements. SharePoint also provides search and graph functionality enabling tracking of projects, documents, and users. Centralized location for storing, versioning, and collaborating on documents significantly reduce dependence on email for collaboration. Equals personal cloud equals. SharePoint server hosts OneDrive for business which allows storage and synchronization of files across devices, and public-private file sharing. Equals intranet and corporate social network equals. A SharePoint intranet or intranet portal is a way to centralize access to enterprise information and applications. It is a tool that helps a company manage its internal communications, applications and information more easily. Microsoft claims that this has organizational benefits such as increased employee engagement, centralizing process management, reducing new staff onboarding costs, and providing the means to capture and share tacit knowledge. Equals extranet and web content management equals. SharePoint can be used to provide web-facing access to external users. Organizations often use functionality like this to integrate third parties into supply chain or business processes to provide a shared collaboration environment, or as part of delivering a product to a customer. Using the publishing features, SharePoint can be used to manage public websites. It is publishing workflow, authoring, multilingual, and scaling features suited to managing larger websites. Equals software framework equals. SharePoint's development stack provides an additional layer of services and that reduce custom development required to provide a working application. It may also be referred to as a web application framework. SharePoint 2013's app development model provides these services through standards such as REST, SAML, and JSONP. 
a multitude of APIs enable enterprise application developers to exploit SharePoint's security and information management capabilities across a variety of development platforms and scenarios. Configuration and customization equals web-based configuration equals SharePoint is primarily configured through a web browser. The web-based user interface provides most of the configuration capability of the product. Depending on your permission level, the web interface can be used to manipulate content and page design, manipulate content structure, site structure, create delete sites, modify navigation and security, or add remove apps, enable or disable product features, upload custom designs themes, or turn on integrations with other office products. Configure basic workflows, view usage analytics, manage metadata, configure search options, upload customizations, and set up integration. Equals SharePoint Designer equals. SharePoint Designer is a fork of Microsoft Front Page, used to provide a faster configuration UI for some features in SharePoint. It provides easy to access advanced editing capabilities for HTML ASPX pages and workflow editing. WYSIWYG HTML editing features were removed in Designer 2013, and the product is expected to be deprecated in 2016. Equals PowerShell and Central Administration equals, Microsoft SharePoint server features are configured either using PowerShell, or a web UI called Central Administration. Configuration of server farm settings can be handled through these central tools. While central administration is limited to farm-wide settings, it provides access to tools such as the SharePoint Health Analyzer, a diagnostic health checking tool. In addition to PowerShell's farm configuration features, some limited tools are made available for administering or adjusting settings for sites or site collections in content databases. A limited subset of these features are available by SharePoint's SAAS providers, including Microsoft equals custom development equals, the SharePoint app model provides various types of external applications that offer the capability to show authenticated web-based applications through a variety of UI mechanisms. Apps may be either SharePoint hosted, or provider hosted. Provider hosted apps may be developed using most back-end web technologies. Apps are served through a proxy in SharePoint which requires some DNS certificate manipulation in on-premises versions of SharePoint. The SharePoint Client Object Model and REST SOAP APIs can be referenced from many environments, providing authenticated users access to a wide variety of SharePoint capabilities. Sandbox plugins can be uploaded by any end-user who has been granted permission. These are security-restricted and can be governed at multiple levels. In multi-tenant cloud environments, these are the only customizations that are typically allowed. Farm features are typically fully trusted code that need to be installed at a farm level. These are considered deprecated for new development. Service applications, it is possible to integrate directly into the SharePoint SOA bus, at a farm level. Customization may be surfaced via, application-to-application -application integration with SharePoint. Extensions to SharePoint functionality. Web parts that provide new functionality when added to a page. Pages sites or page site templates. Content structure. Equals pages equals, SharePoint provides freeform editable pages, which can be modified using the ribbon. Pages are stored as ASPX files, in libraries. Features exist for publishing and enterprise wiki pages which have functionality such as the ability to surface metadata, set custom URLs, control SEO metadata, and define custom layout and designs. Equals web parts and app parts equals, web parts and app parts are components that can be inserted into pages. They are used to display information from both SharePoint and third-party applications. Equals lists, libraries, and content equals, a list is a data storage tool. It contains content items, with named data fields. List columns allow you to view the data fields, and views of these columns are configured the list settings. A library is a collection of files. In SharePoint, a library is a type of list. Each file is a content item. 
libraries have extra features, such as synchronization, viewing editing, or managing files. A content type is a metadata definition. Lists can be configured to contain certain multiple content types, and will have columns for all fields in the associated content types. Some content types such as contact or appointment allow the list to expose advanced features such as Microsoft Outlook or project synchronization. As of SharePoint 2013, in some locations, lists and libraries are referred to as apps. Equals sites equals, a SharePoint site is a collection of pages, lists, and libraries. A site may contain subsites, and those sites may contain further subsites. Sites can be created according to pre-packaged functionality. Examples of site templates in SharePoint include collaboration sites, wiki sites, blank sites, and publishing sites. Equals search equals SharePoint contains a reworked version of fast search and transfers search technology, which combines advanced search and analytics features. This feature is highly customizable. The content of documents are searched. On-premises architecture, on-premises SharePoint can be scaled down to operate entirely from one developer machine, or scaled up to be managed across hundreds of machines. While architecture considerations are relatively complex, a broad overview is below. Equals farms equals, a SharePoint farm is a logical grouping of SharePoint servers that share common resources. A farm typically operates standalone, but can also subscribe to functions from another farm, or provide functions to another farm. Each farm has its own central configuration database, which is managed through either a PowerShell interface, or a central administration website. Each server in the farm is able to directly interface with the central configuration database. Servers use this to configure services to match the requirements of the farm, and to report server health issues, resource allocation issues, etc. Equals web applications equals, web applications are top-level containers for content in a SharePoint farm, and are typically the interface through which a user interacts with SharePoint. A web application is associated with a set of access mappings or URLs defined in the SharePoint Central Management Console, then automatically replicated into the IIS configuration of every server configured in the farm. WAs are typically independent of each other have their own application pools, and can be restarted independently in Internet Information Services. Equals site collections equals, a site collection is used to provide a grouping of SharePoint sites. Each web application typically has at least one site collection. Site collections may be associated with their own content databases, or they may share a content database with other site collections in the same web application. A site collection may contain one or more sites. A site collection is a group of sites that are functionally, navigationally, and administratively related to one another. Equals service applications equals, service applications provide granular pieces of SharePoint functionality to other web and service applications in the farm. Examples of service applications include the user profile sync service, and the search indexing service. ASA can be turned off, exist on one server, or be load balanced across many servers in a farm. SAs are designed to be as independent as possible, so fit a euro depending on the saw euro restarting an SA, experiencing an SA failure, or misconfiguring an SA may not necessarily prevent the farm from operating. Each SA enabled on the farm typically has its own process that requires a certain amount of RAM to operate and typically also has its own configuration database and Active Directory service account. SharePoint Server and SharePoint Enterprise include all the SharePoint Foundation SAs, as well as additional SAs. Administration, Security, Compliance, SharePoint's architecture enables least privileges execution permission model. SharePoint Central Administration is a web application that typically exists on a single server in the farm, However it is also able to be deployed for redundancy to multiple servers. This application provides a complete centralized management interface for web and service applications in the SharePoint farm, including AD account management for web and service applications. In the event of a failure of the CA, 
Windows PowerShell is typically used on the CA server to reconfigure the farm. The structure of the SharePoint platform enables multiple WAs to exist on a single farm. In a shared hosting environment, owners of these WAs may require their own management console. The SharePoint Tenant Administration is an optional web application used by web application owners to manage how their web application interacts with the shared resources in the farm. Equals compliance, standards and integration equals, SharePoint integrates with Microsoft Office. SharePoint uses Microsoft's OpenXML document standard for integration with Microsoft Office. Document metadata is also stored using this format. SharePoint provides various application programming interfaces and REST, SOAP and a database interfaces. SharePoint can be used to achieve compliance with many document retention, record management, document ID and discovery laws. SharePoint is compatible with CMIS, the Content Management Interoperability Standard, using Microsoft's CMIS Connector. SharePoint by default produces valid XHTML 1.0 that is compliant with WCAG 2.0 accessibility standards. SharePoint can use claims-based authentication, relying on SAML tokens for security assertions. SharePoint provides an open authentication plugin model. SharePoint to support for XLIFF to support the localization of content in SharePoint. Also added support for APP Fabric. SharePoint Editions. Equals Microsoft SharePoint Foundation equals, SharePoint Foundation is available for free on-premises deployment. It is dependent on various hardware software requirements, including a proper license for Microsoft Windows Server. It contains much of the core functionality and architecture drawn on by the commercial version of the package. Microsoft is not expecting to release a SharePoint Foundation 2016, and is currently considering different options for existing SharePoint Foundation customers. Equals Microsoft SharePoint Standard equals, Microsoft SharePoint Standard builds on the Microsoft SharePoint Foundation in a few key product areas. Sites, Audience Targeting, Governance Tools, Secure Store Service, Web Analytics Functionality. Communities, my Sites, Enterprise Wikis, Organization Hierarchy Browser, Tags and Notes. Content, Improved Tooling and Compliance for Document and Record Management, Managed Metadata, Word Automation Services, Content Type Management. Search, Better Search Results, Search Customization Abilities, Mobile Search, Did You Mean? OS Search Integration, Faceted Search, and metadata at location based refinement options. Composites, pre built workflow templates, BCS profile pages. SharePoint standard licensing includes a calorie component and a server fee. SharePoint standard may also be licensed through a cloud model. It is possible to upgrade a SharePoint farm from foundation to standard. Equals Microsoft SharePoint Enterprise equals, built upon SharePoint standard. Microsoft SharePoint Enterprise features can be unlocked simply by providing an additional license key. Extra features in SharePoint Enterprise includes, search thumbnails and previews, rich web indexing, better search results, BI integration, dashboards, and business data surfacing. Power Pivot and Performance Point Microsoft Office Access, Visio, Excel, and InfoPath Forms Services SharePoint Enterprise Search Extensions SharePoint Enterprise Licensing includes a calorie component and a server fee that must be purchased in addition to SharePoint Server Licensing. SharePoint Enterprise may also be licensed through a cloud model. Equals SharePoint Online equals, Microsoft's hosted SharePoint product is offered as part of their Office 365 product. The online version has a constantly changing feature set and licensing arrangements, but is typically comparable with SharePoint Enterprise. Currently, additional capabilities include, next-gen portals, Microsoft Delve and Sway, Yammer integration and Office 365 groups, integration with Outlook Web App, newer versions of online Office document editor tools, small business web publishing capabilities, Removal of various file size number limitations, missing capabilities include, 
Task Roll-Up Feature Some BI features must be purchased as part of Power BI. Some search and UI customizations are not possible and or not recommended. Web publishing capabilities are significantly limited for larger organizations, limited tenant administration options, NB changes in SharePoint Online are listed on the Office Roadmap. Equals other SharePoint related Microsoft products equals History Equals Origins equals SharePoint evolved from projects codenamed Office Server and Taha during the Office XP development cycle. Office Server evolved out of the front page and Office Server extensions and team pages. It targeted simple, bottom up collaboration. Taho, built on shared technology with Exchange and the AUROE digital dashboard, a Euro, targeted top down portals, search and document management. The searching and indexing capabilities of SharePoint came from the Taho feature set. The search and indexing features were a combination of the index and crawling features from the Microsoft Site Server family of products and from the query language of Microsoft Index Server. Equals versions equals, successive versions, Microsoft SharePoint Portal Server 2001, Microsoft SharePoint Team Services, Windows SharePoint Services 2.0, Microsoft SharePoint Portal Server 2003, Windows SharePoint Services 3.0, plus Microsoft Office SharePoint Server 2007, Microsoft SharePoint Foundation 2010, plus Microsoft SharePoint Server 2010, and SharePoint Enterprise 2010, Microsoft SharePoint Foundation 2013, plus Microsoft SharePoint Server 2013. A next SharePoint release is announced for 2016, Jeff Tepper, the Corporate Vice President of Office Service and Servers Group at Microsoft, noted, our server releases will include some, but not all, of the experience you saw today due to the computational power and integrated aspects that only come with Office 365. Equals notable changes in SharePoint 2010 equals, changes in end-user functionality added in the 2010 version of SharePoint include, new UI with Fluent Ribbon, using wiki pages rather than web part pages and offering multi-browser support. New social profiles, and early social networking features, central administration rebuilt. Restructure of shared service providers introduction of service applications SOA model. Sandbox solutions, and a client-side object model APIs for JavaScript, Silverlight, and .NET applications, business connectivity services, claims-based authentication, and Windows PowerShell support equals notable changes in SharePoint 2013 equals cross browser drag and drop support for file uploads changes and follow share buttons OneDrive for business replaces my sites OneDrive also replaces SharePoint workspaces updates to social network feature a new task aggregation tool database caching called distributed cache service content aware switching called management audit center Rebuilt and improved search capabilities, removal of some analytics capabilities, UI, JSLINK, MDS, theme packs. No WYSIWYG and SP designer. Related software and competitors. See also, Enterprise Portal, list of collaborative software. References. External links, official website.